Hey there everyone, this is Michael Dugo, the Nootropic Reviewer, and in this video today I'm doing a product review on uridine monophosphate, which is used most often for learning. It's used for motivation, better sleep. I would give it a thumbs down personally. I have used this nootropic several times, at least for 60 days straight, and what I had found was that it didn't do what I expected it to do, considering that I was already taking alpha-GPC. Alpha-GPC being a form of choline that is a nutrient that really helps to overall balance cognition levels, boost concentration, and does pair well with other nootropic supplements. So what I do really like about uridine monophosphate is that this is not a nootropic supplement that we have to strictly rely on anecdotes for. No, there's actually studies out there. However, of course, it's a blend of studies done on rats, done on other animals, and several human studies as well. So like as shown in this study, nutritional modifiers of aging brain function, increasing the formation of brain synapses by administering uridine and other phosphatite precursors. So this one study, it was done on animals. However, there is a similar study done on individuals showing that it did in fact help to increase the number of brain synapses. However, it was done on individuals with bipolar disorder. So what does this mean? Probably too early to tell for somebody like me using it for 60 days, but it's a good reason to be uh, patient with this nootropic. Of course, it's going to depend on your budget. Um, it's not like for me it did anything counterproductive, but man, it is always interesting to find nootropics out there that do things like boost uh, BDNF, boost NGF, help to actually increase the number of brain cells. But what what I dislike about uridine monophosphate and one reason why uh, the risks may actually outweigh the rewards is because of the fact that it may potentially be our carcinogen. And there's a very interesting read out there on uridine that you should definitely look into if you are considering taking this nootropic supplement because they kind of outline some of the side effects and why they are the case. So over here we can see how they describe uridine and cancer and the carcinogenic action of uridine is more potent in higher doses, sure, but it's a myth that uridine isn't a carcinogen at all doses. Instead of worsening cancer by inducing proliferation, it directly causes DNA damage. And then we have the study uridine homeostatic disorder leads to DNA damage and to more genesis. But they do highlight the fact that uridine may be carcinogenic. But at the same time, we have to be mindful like a lot of things out there and things that we're eating, the things that we're ingesting are at the same time carcinogenic. The question is to what extent is it carcinogenic? And the owner of Nootropics Depot did actually chime in and, and respond similarly to how I did on this that uh, yes, uridine is certainly involved in cancer and plays a role in tumor genesis. However, just because something might be involved in cancer doesn't mean we should avoid it. And then they further responded that uh, uridine supplementation actually lowered tumor incidence in the mouse study. So you can make your conclusions and draw from it what you will. For me anyway, uh, this doesn't make too much of a difference whether or not I will continue to use this nootropic. More so, I was just hoping it did something because I found like for 10% of people, they really feel uridine monophosphate working. And one of the reasons why some individuals do actually feel it working is because of the fact that uridine is known to actually help with dopamine upregulation. And having low dopamine often means low motivation, low energy levels, waking up somewhat tired. So you definitely have to get that balance in check. And I really like taking L tyrosine specifically to boost dopamine levels. Um, I don't like L-dopa that much, but mecunopurian is also known as L-dopa is also something that's somewhat popular. It's interesting though, I've yet to find any individual really that has used uridine every single day for over a year because it seems like a nootropic. Perhaps you try it for a bit, maybe you see some good results from, but unfortunately there are um, some studies online which can suggest that not only would it cause you to build up a tolerance, but also set you up to have really bad withdrawals. There's a specific anecdote where somebody almost had like a manic-like experience and that they were sleeping a lot less when they were using uridine they were enjoying it at the beginning, but then afterwards they end up being somewhat depressed. I'm not saying this will happen with everyone, but th these are side effects that you want to be aware of. And be warned with uridine, you need to be supplementing with vitamin B because it actually depletes vitamin B. So I would definitely uh, be stocking up on your vitamin B complex. Make sure that you have vitamin B12 because that's going to go very well with your uridine monophosphate. And then there's some research that suggests that um, having more DHA in your diet can help to enhance the effects of uridine monophosphate and make it more likely that you actually feel something from it. So what that looks like, fish oil, what we know about fish oil, it's gonna be behind EPA and DHA, and those two are actually very difficult to find outside of fish oil. A common serving of uridine monophosphate is 200 to 250 milligrams once a day. I've tried taking it several times during the day along with my nootropic stack. So for my actual nootropic stack, I have a few things that I have adaptogens like Bacopa minari, Rhodiola rosea. I have some Rastam's Prastam and Rastam Oxyrastam, and, and I did include uridine with that particular stack for over 30 days. I didn't see any negative side effects from it. It's just that I really didn't notice much from it at all. And then I did actually remove alpha GPC, use uridine almost as a replacement as some people were doing, but I didn't see good results from doing that either. So for that reason, I just figured there's no point of continuing using uridine monophosphate. But if you're going to try uridine monophosphate, uh, taking it once a day is a good place to start. A lot of people like taking it in the morning first thing. Some people take it fasted. Some people take it with a meal. doesn't make too much of a difference. And uh, you can expect that you'll probably feel something after a few days. Be a bit patient with it. It's not that stimulatory. Some people find it stimulating, but most people not. So perhaps there's a good chance that uh, you'll feel 
something after a few days. It's been my experience that if you're already supplementing with alpha GPC or a choline source that you are finding benefits from, you probably wouldn't see good results with uridine monophosphate. But there are some individuals which actually report feeling uridine more or it being more stimulating when you take it at lower doses. But if you take higher doses of uridine, like over 300 milligrams, then it's somewhat sedating. So that's really interesting. But I think uridine is going to work great with other nootropics. Like I would definitely stack it with something I wouldn't have such high expectations with uridine. Or perhaps it's a supplement which I would use if I was taking a break from caffeine. And I wanted something that would help me to some extent actually increase my dopamine levels, help me be a bit more motivated. That's where this could be a good supplement. And I really hope you did find this information helpful. What are your thoughts on uridine monophosphate? I want to see in the comment section below. And hey, subscribe, give the video a like if you got value from it. If you'd like to chat with me one-on-one, -on -one, Patreon or Instagram direct messages are the places to find me. And be sure to visit our Discord server, which has a 24-7 chat room. We're having a lot of fun. I thank you for your interest in nootropics, and I look forward to seeing you all next time.